close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Give the mind a good place to take its stance. Because you need to have a good stance in order to f contend with the things that come your way. In Thailand, when they teach Thai boxing, the first thing they teach you is how to take a stance. So if you have to kick, you're coming from a place of strength. Whatever you have to do, you're coming from a place of strength. You can't be easily knocked over. And although we may not to think, like to think about the world as a place where you have to fight, still it's a place where you have to contend with, at the very least, your own defilements, because they can come at any time. People outside can be pleasant and do, be the nicest people possible, but there can still be greed, aversion, and delusion welling up in your mind. And you have to take a stance against those things. Even more so when people outside are difficult, you have to make sure that your stance is strong and wide, not easily knocked over. So stay with the breath and think of the breath permeating throughout the body. In this way, you're coming from a position of strength. In this way, you're building a good life. When they talk about an auspicious day, it has nothing to do with the stars or the planets or the I Ching or whatever. It has to do with what you're doing right now. You want to make sure that what you're doing is skillful. And it all comes from the mind, so make sure your mind is in good shape. We sometimes think, well, nobody else knows what I'm thinking, so it doesn't matter what I think. But that's not the case. Your thoughts come out in your actions. As the Buddha said, you tend to think about things for a while. They become like ruts in a road. You get more and more inclined to go in that direction. It gets easier and easier to act on those, those thoughts. So you've got to find a way to pull yourself back. So when greed comes, you have a way of contending with it, not giving into it. When anger comes, you learn how not to give in to the anger. You can step aside. And when your mind is blurry, you realize, okay, I can't trust anything that's coming up in my mind right now, and just don't commit to anything in place and during periods like that. In other words, have your defenses up. This is what it means to be heedful, because there are dangers inside and there are dangers outside. Now, when you're contending with dangers, you have to come from a position of comfort and strength. That's why we work with the breath to make it feel good. But remember, we're not here just to rest. We're here to rest and gather our strength and to prepare ourselves for the things that we have to contend with as we go through life. <laughs>